three tips to help you tame your tech monster so that online tech struggles won't ever get in the way of you creating what you want for your business. Anke Herman here, passion business coach and tech monster whisperer. Tip number one, what looks like a tech problem never is. When online tech feels like a jungle, when there is a sense that there's too many options and you don't really know what you need, that is a sign that you are trying to skip a few steps because there is a whole area of questions and things that need to be considered between you having the idea for a book, a website, an online course, a membership platform, a podcast or anything you want to create and the actual implementation of that on the tech side. And when you skip that step, you're going to struggle. It's a bit like trying to run up a flight of stairs when you're not really fit and trying to take a few steps all at once. Now, the good news is those questions in the middle that need to be sorted out first have nothing to do with technology. They're about who's your client? What is it that you actually want to offer? And how can you create the best possible experience for them? Tip number two, question your beliefs and assumptions before you question your capabilities. If you've ever heard yourself say something like, oh, I'm just not technical, or I'm a woman, technology is just not my thing, or I'm too old for this, think again. Question your beliefs. I'm dismantling all of them in detail in my book, Taming the Tech Monster, so I won't go into detail here. Just one thing, being male and young isn't the solution. Tip number three, even if you don't skip any steps, and even if you are questioning your beliefs and assumptions, technology still is a large area. There's a lot to learn. And when you're new to that world, it'll take a while for you to find your bearings. Like, you know, being dropped off in the middle of Tokyo without a map. You wouldn't expect yourself to find your bearings effortlessly in a week or two. So be kind to yourself and give yourself some slack. So if any of that made sense to you, if you're curious to find out more, there is three things you can do. Get a copy of the book, join my Facebook group, or grab a time to have a chat. And the links to all of that you'll find just below this video. I'll talk to you again soon.